Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to show you how to add an expense into your QuickBooks Online file. Just a quick note to let you know, in this case I'm working with the Canadian QuickBooks. This logic will still apply for other versions of QuickBooks, but there will be some differences that you should be mindful of. So for a brief moment in time, we're going to be event planners. I'm pretty excited about this because I am not a very good event planner. So this is the receipt I have. Um, I went and pick up some plants to go with my event planning business, and I want to go ahead and log those into QuickBooks. What I'm using for my demonstration is the sample company file. If you're not familiar, you can get the sample company file by Googling QuickBooks Online Test Drive. Because I'm in Canada, when I do this, it brings me up the opportunity to look at the QuickBooks Online Test Drive for Canada. If we were doing this in the US, it would pull up Craig's Landscape. All right, so let's go and enter our expense. I'm going to show you how to enter the expense manually. The same thing will work if you're entering it through bank feeds and letting the information download. So I'm going to choose the plus new in the upper left hand corner. I'm then under suppliers going to select expense. The reason I like expense is it allows me to toggle and say, oh, that's my credit card or that's my checking account. Whereas if I had picked check, I would only see my checking account on my list. So in this case, we'll just say it's the Visa card. So who did you pay? I paid Metro. I'm gonna make them a supplier. The currency is CAD. And then down here for the category, uh, let's pick supplies. So I'll make a note. Let's look at our receipt. We can see from the receipt that it was $23.98 plus $3.12 worth of HST. I know that it's HST because I see that between subtotal and total. So let's go ahead and type those numbers in. So I need 2398 uh, HST for Ontario. And then down here, so exclusive of tax. So it says you apply this much money to my expense account. Apply this much money to my tax account. And the 2710 is the total amount of money that was charged onto the credit card. Perfect. If I wanted to, I could come down in the lower left hand corner and attach my receipt. I'm not going to because this is a sample file and as soon as I close this, it'll go away. So I'm just going to select save and close. If you have any questions about bookkeeping or QuickBooks, please don't hesitate to reach out. <music>